afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 2nd of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see exactly where the uh, the markets are positioned uh, mid-afternoon with regards to European equities. We've certainly shaken off the uh, concerns from Catalonia. Uh, again, I was expecting more of an impact there. That certainly hasn't, uh, or certainly has failed to uh, certainly deter the markets. You have the FTSE up a whopping 40 points, up 0.6% today, which I'll discuss as to why. The German DAX is up 37 points, still grappling higher. French CAC up 6 as well. IBEX probably the only index that's down at the moment. And yet the rest of Europe certainly ignoring the concerns regarding that. OK, so in terms of economic data today, let's just quickly go through this. First of all, Chinese data out uh, over the weekend. Again, stronger South Korean data as well. Japanese data as well, all indicating stronger growth. But to a large extent, that certainly has been already baked into the cake. OK, although having said that, I am long the Aussie dollar at the moment on the back of stronger Chinese data. OK, so in terms of uh, the European markets, again, certainly getting a gap higher from there. I was expecting a gap lower or potential sell-off on the back of uh, concerns regarding Catalonia again, uh, causing uh, uncertainty in Europe, especially given uh, Merkel's loss of power as well. Again, that certainly is a risk negative, yet markets are totally ignoring that. Now, Friday we've seen a late short squeeze late in the session on the back of weaker inflation data. Uh, again, that certainly um, uh, was expected to fade. Um, hasn't done so thus far, okay? In terms of the uh, European markets, again, uh, CHF, retail sales coming in weaker than expected, although uh, purchasing managers index actually coming in slightly stronger. Uh, Italian um, manufacturing weaker on the weaker side. Uh, French and PMI certainly on the, on the uh, stronger side, slightly stronger, 56.1. Uh, German basically coming in line. Unemployment numbers again rising in Europe, uh, again coming in weaker. European manufacturing PMI certainly coming in weaker as well. UK manufacturing PMI coming in weaker, hence the reason why the uh, sterling certainly is weaker, and which in turn obviously has sent the FTSE 100 higher. Also helped by the miners, given the uh, stronger Chinese data. So bear that in mind as well. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, the markets now, we are looking forward or looking to uh, looking towards uh, the economic data coming out of Canada, uh, US manufacturing ISM, prices paid, construction spending, and also we have Mr. Kaplan speaking later on as well. So again, from my perspective, certainly looking for risk aversion on the back of the Catalonian vote. Uh, again, certainly is a risk negative and therefore looking for weaker price action, especially in Europe. OK, in terms of the uh, technicals, let's go to the German DAX here. You can see we've gapped high on the German DAX up to 12,900. Ever since then, we've certainly been giving up power, uh, giving up strength. OK, looking to target that gap at 12,830 on the German DAX. What an impressive rally this was, 12,700 up to 12,820 on Friday on the back of weaker inflation data, obviously indicating a, a dovish response from the uh, the actual um, ECB. Okay, so for now, a Catalonian uh, response, again, from my perspective, is risk negative and therefore looking for weakness there on the German DAX, okay? Daily chart on the German DAX is now putting in a potential topping tail. Again, that's a warning sign. We have multiple unfilled gaps left behind as well. Our ultimate resistance double top is seen at 12.950. We'll see exactly how that plays out. 60-minute chart at the moment. Bear flag certainly is playing out, looking for that gap to close below at 12.830. So watch out for that gap. Uh, in terms of the next index, look at the French CAC now. Uh, French CAC, I'm certainly expecting weakness here as well. 5.326, currently at 5.336. Looking for weakness on the French CAC as well. 60-minute chart on the French CAC without horizontal resistance. So again, looking for risk aversion here. A daily chart as well into resistance, looking for risk aversion. So looking for risk off on the French CAC, certainly remain short. I'm maintaining my short bias and looking for weakness there. In terms of Euro stocks, daily chart is into resistance. OK, looking for risk off. Uh, again, looking for weakness on the Euro stocks based on the daily chart. 60 minute chart at the moment, again, indicating bearish engulfing candle, therefore looking for weakness. Looking for a move lower. 10 minute chart at the moment, again, lower high. Again, looking to potentially retest that breakout level back down below at 3580. And that's my uh, initial target for the euro stocks. Okay. And that certainly is the status quo. So, again, Chinese data, South Korean and uh, Japanese data certainly helping red sentiment. Catalonian, obviously, uh, referendum votes certainly damping sentiment with the IMEX certainly down as well. Uh, Euro USD certainly under pressure due to that too, which in turn obviously is acting like a potential stimulus for European equities. So again, 
that's certainly something to consider as well. Let's see how US markets fail. Fair, we have the uh, S&P obviously breaking out. Uh, Russell certainly breaking out as well. The Dow certainly pushing higher. Let's see how US markets uh, obviously uh, perform. Uh, but certainly from my perspective, I maintain my bearish stance on the Euro stocks and the CAC and obviously European equities in general. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of uh, European equities. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly visit TradeSignaler for the latest market updates. Goodbye now.